Hey guys, it's Lee here from Click Studios bringing you another video and today we'll be talking about our browser extensions. If you weren't aware of what our browser extensions are for, they simply allow you to save website logins directly into password state and then when you return to those websites they will automatically fill your username and password for you. We have browser extensions for Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge and soon Safari. In this video I'll show you how to install and use the Chrome extension. The first thing I'll show you is the documentation we have for our browser extensions which can be found under the help menu. In this document it gives you instructions on how to install the extensions depending on which browser you're using. To install the Chrome extension I'll go to my Chrome menu and launch the extensions page and I'll then do a search for password state in the extensions store. After I add this to my browser you'll see that it is red in colour and this means that it's not currently communicating to my password state website. As a once off process to get it communicating properly all you need to do is simply log into your password state website. The extension will then turn white and you can begin using it to capture and fill credentials. Next you'll need to ensure you have a passwordless configured in password state that has the URL field enabled and to show you where this is I'll edit my own private password list and go to the field options tab. Please ensure you have ticked URL and then save your list. Now I'll go to a website and log in and you'll notice you'll get a prompt from password state to save the credential. After I click save I will then be prompted to choose a password list to save it into and as you can see I have many password lists in here that have the URL field enabled which is why I have so many to choose from. I'll select my private password list because I'm intending on saving personal passwords that I don't want anyone else to have access to. Now if I log out of Facebook you'll see straight away that the extension has reached out to password state and populated the username and password for me. And just to demonstrate that again I'll browse away from Facebook and then I'll go back to the site and again the username and password have been set for me. All I need to do is click the login button and I can access the website. Instead of manually browsing to Facebook what I can also do is access it from within password state. To do this I just need to go to my private password list and click the Facebook URL link. It takes me straight to Facebook in a new tab and fills my credentials for me. Next I want to show you how to use the password generator tool in our browser extensions. If I was to go to a website and wanted to join that website, normally I would have to enter a username and set a password. If we use the password generator tool here and click apply, it will fill the password field with a random password that it created. This is handy as it's best practice to have different passwords for all of your websites you visit and using our browser extension makes using multiple different passwords easy for you i.e. you don't have to remember them just let password state do that for you. Next if I go to log into Reddit here I have the option to not save the password into password state by simply clicking the close button. And if I never wanted to be prompted again to save the credential for this site I can click ignore. You will notice now after I have clicked ignore that the Reddit website has been added to my ignored URLs table under my own personal preferences. Another tool we have is we can open the password record for the website directly in password state straight from our browser extension. This is handy if you need to update the password once you've updated it on the website. Now that's all from a standard user perspective but if you are a security administrator you also have some global settings you can configure which will apply to your users. Under the administration area you have a few different options on the browser extension setting tab. You can ignore URLs globally for everyone. You can control who can use the extension and basically what these permissions will do if set here will stop your users from configuring the extension from red to white. And lastly you can control who can save passwords which means they'll be able to autofill usernames and passwords but they just won't be able to write anything to the system. 
I hope this has helped and please let us know on support at clickstudios.com.au if you have any questions about this or if you need any help with it. Thanks for watching.